The last day of term is usually cause for celebration, but for parents at Malik Fad Islamic School in Sydney's west, there's uncertainty and anger. I'm just upset about the students and how they're feeling. Last night a girl had an, almost had an anxiety attack in front of all the parents. On Monday, Malik Fad lost an appeal to have $19 million in federal government funding reinstated. The school has lodged an application with the Administrative Appeals Tribunal, but a request for funding to continue during that process was denied this morning. I'm just uh, quite frankly flabbergasted that the government hasn't uh, uh, given them the opportunity that they need just a, a short time more to put the place into shape. The Australian Federation of Islamic Councils runs six schools across the country. Two of them, Malik Fad and the Islamic School of Canberra, have had their federal funding permanently cut after a government audit found they failed to comply with financial transparency measures. Malik Fad was found to be operating for profit and is now working to prove its independence from AFIC. There had been some wrongdoings, AFIC acknowledges the wrongdoings, and AFIC did everything from its end to satisfy the Minister for Education. If Malik Fad is forced to close its gates, more than 2,000 students will have to be absorbed into schools in the local area, changing uniforms, classrooms and teachers in the middle of the school year. At an emergency parents meeting last night, emotions ran high. Our kids are going to stay here, no matter what. The interim board says the school will continue to operate next term and it will be working hard during term two to address outstanding issues and ultimately satisfy the Commonwealth that funding should be restored. The Commonwealth Department of Education and Training says it's working to ensure those impacted by the funding decision receive appropriate support. Hannah Sinclair, SBS World News.